So you're going to take the strap around both of the doorknobs, hold it rather taut, and then pull the loop through, holding the doorknobs now and pulling tight. So now it's not going to come off. So this is just a, a meditation bench that I have and you can use a piece of wood and just place it right against the front of the door so then you have something to press your feet into. So step into the strap and you want to place the strap right below the frontal hip bone so those little bony protrusions you want to place it below that so right where the leg lifts, that's where you want to place the strap. And you want to lean into the strap. And as you come down, take your hands to either the floor or blocks. And then walk back and press your heels into that board. And extend forward into Adho Mukha Svanasana. So if your hamstrings are tight and you can't straighten your legs, then take the heels up onto that board and press, and then extend forward. To come up, bend the legs, walk the hands back, walk the feet forward, come up with the knees bent, not overstretching the lower back. And you can do a standing practice using these straps on the doorknob. And sometimes when I practice standing poses with um, straps or ropes, I will take the strap on the front leg. Today I'm taking it on the back leg. You may have to tighten the strap. And what I'm trying to do here with the strap on the back leg is to keep from dropping the back leg during my standing pose practice. So I want to press the back heel into the board. I want to make sure the heel of the front leg is in line with the arch of the back. I'm going to take that left arm up and I want to extend forward, keeping this strap taut and holding on with my top arm. So I keep extending down, extending down, and you can take the hand down to the shin or the floor, depending on your body's ability. I'm going to take my hand to the shin. I'm going to guide this upper arm. I'm going to pull on the strap and roll that top shoulder back and down. And then take the arm up. To come up, press that heel into the board and come up through the fingertips of the top arm. So now we're going to work on Virabhadrasana 2 with the strap on the back leg. So press that right heel strongly into that baseboard or that piece of wood I have here. Place the strap on the inner upper leg, not at the groin and not at the knee. Again, have the heel of the front line, leg in line with the arch of the back. Take a deep, slow breath in, and the exhalation, draw from the inner groin to the inner knee, from the inner knee to the outer knee, and work on creating that right angle. Press that heel in, lift the inner arch of that back foot, lift the chest. Do not take the torso towards the front leg. The torso should be perpendicular to the floor. So roll the left ribs forward, right ribs back. Press and take both arms up and then look over your extended front fingertips to come up press the heel of the back foot into the wood and come up so we're going to work on I want to make sure I have that strap in the same place I had when I was practicing Adho Mukha Svanasana. And I want to make sure that the hips aren't torqued. I want the frontal hip bones to be facing the same direction. So I want an internal rotation 
of my back leg. I'm going to press strongly through the heel of my back leg. I want the heel of the front leg in that perfect world to be aligned with the heel of the front foot. I want to lift the chest, lift the chest, lift the chest as I press that back heel into the wall and I extend forward. So I want to lengthen from the front of the chest. I don't want to be here. I want to really lengthen. You can also use a chair to place your hands on top of the chair. But I want to keep, keep these frontal hip bones moving forward, chest moving forward as I extend down. And you have to keep internally rotating that back leg and lengthening forward. From here, you can start to come down even further, but again, you still have to lengthen the front body. You don't want to do this. So keep moving the chest forward. Keep extending down. Keep pressing through the big toe ball of the foot, and then take the, hand, the head down. But you have to keep lengthening the front of the body to come up, press the heel of the back leg into the wood, press that heel, lift the chest, hands on hips, and come up. I'm going to work on Ardish and Drasana. This is a little more challenging to do, and if you're new to yoga or you're not used to using props, this is not one I would start with. I would start with the Uttita Trikonasanas and the downward facing dog poses that I showed earlier. But if you are a dedicated practitioner and you're familiar with props, then maybe you could play around with this. It is important that the door doesn't move, so please make sure it's rooted properly. So I have that strap on just my left leg, and I'm coming down into Ardha Uttanasana half standing forward bend. And I want to make sure that this heel, my left heel, is lined up with the sharp edge of the door and that the foot is directly under my hip. That's not too far forward or too far back. From here, I want to take my right foot up onto that door and I want to press the foot as I turn it so that the inner edge of the foot is parallel to the floor. From here, I keep drawing up from the quadricep, opening the pit of the knee, and then rolling the left ribs forward and the right ribs back. And I'm up on my fingertips or my hands on a block. I'm pressing, pressing so strongly that right foot into the door. From here, I take the arm up and then I look up. Come down, slowly bring that right arm down, bring that right foot down, bend the legs, and come up. 